Ben and his massive rat infestation in his kitchen, and we're about to hunt him down right now. So we get a call from Ben all the way from Ohio in desperate need of our help. He saw our YouTube videos and says, guys, I have spent over $1,200 in rat trap sticky pads, and there's one big rat that I just can't get, and I need your help. Check out this big rat that Ben's been tracking. I'm a bit nervous because we've got to handle this all remotely. And by going all the way out there and not able to solve this issue, it's gonna cost us if we don't solve it. So to solve this for Ben across the country, we're mobilizing Megan and JJ. But who's JJ? Woof, woof. Little clue there. Hey guys, Megan and JJ here. Heading to Ohio, gonna do some work with Twin Home Experts. So a little bit about myself. My background is in uh, working in dog detection work for Island Biosecurity. In the last four years, I've been focused on doing all rodent detection work. And as a result of COVID, I discovered that using the dogs to work in pest control for residential and commercial is a really valuable use. So I did a little bit of research on YouTube and I found the Twin Home Experts, reached out to them to learn a little more about what they do and share some information on how I've been working with detection dogs and rodents and how I think it'd be very beneficial to the pest control industry. The Twin Home Experts and I, we, we met up in, in Dallas a few weeks ago for a rodent academy put on by Texas A&M Agriculture Extension. And I'm so excited that this is our first time that we're teaming up. I'm in Virginia. Twin Home Experts are out in California and we're going to team up remotely for a job in Ohio. So we're, we're heading to Ben's house and we'll see you there. Hey guys, all right, we're out at Ben's. I'm going to get Jim on the phone and see how we're going to move forward. Hey Jim. Did you make it to Ben's? I made it to Ben's. We're here. It's, um, it's not sunny and it's cold, but we're ready. Awesome. Well, Megan, first of all, I'd, I'd love to, I just want to express on how much gratitude David and I have to have you part of the twin team now with JJ. It's just um, speak highly of you and welcome to the, our first call. We're, we're really super excited to be here and uh, see, see what we can get into together. So let me tell you a little bit about Ben. Ben called us up. He's a, he watched our videos. So it's going to be interesting to see what JJ finds today. Yes, very interesting. So what I'd like for you guys to kind of do today, Megan, is let's obviously see if um, where the entry points are. I, I told uh, Ben that the most important thing right now is figuring out those entry points. So if you and JJ can inspect the exterior, interior portion of the house, do your magic, and uh, I'm here along the way here. So you guys can FaceTime me on all your findings and kind of see what we can do. Okay, great. We'll keep in touch. We're going to... We're going to start off, we'll look at those entry points, uh, look for the high activity areas, any nesting sites, uh, any any other areas of high activity. Let's, uh, let's go in and meet Ben and let's, maybe he can give us a tour, Megan. All right, sounds good. We'll head in. Cool. Hello. Hey Ben, how are you? Doing good, how are you? Good, I've got, um, I've got Jim on the phone with me. How are you, Ben? Oh, I'm doing all right, how are you? Good, good. I'm, I'm happy that we were able to... Uh, to accommodate you today, Megan and JJ, I think we're going to bring your, hopefully your rodent rat issue to a final close today. All right. Come on in. It's been a few months actually, yeah. Um, we knew we had something in our house, we weren't sure what, we thought it was a mouse, but then the uh, damage started getting uh, more extensive. Looked online about possibility of rats or chipmunks. Started setting up traps for that from what we were seeing online. So that's kind of where we started, but we weren't we weren't having any success. So we decided to call um, a few pest control places. Okay. And uh, they they weren't very satisfactory so far as far as exclusion work. Um, okay. They were setting down some traps and different things in, in addition to what I already had set. They were like, were they bait? Traps with bait or live traps? traps? With, uh, yeah, traps with bait. And I try to live trap myself. We live in a very rural area, so we, we have a lot of uh, corn field and soybean fields around here and some 
uh, grain storage just down the road. So high high population for uh, rodents. After you dealt with the other pest control companies, you did uh, you you kind of had your own strategy after watching some of our videos and so forth. You went and got your own glue boards and rat traps. Can you show us around the house and see where you placed all those? Sure. So the kitchen area was where uh, the problem area was. Um, the most uh, most active for this uh, rat. Uh, I purchased a trail cam in order to identify its travel. Showed a lot of heavy travel around the refrigerators and around the dishwasher and the sink areas. A lot of the video showed where it was coming up to a trap and, and uh, smelling danger. It seemed <laughs> is how it, how how it appeared on the video. Like it smelled the danger and would not. Uh, take the bait or, or set off the trap. Well, I, I think what we need to do, Megan, is then let's, let's get JJ to work. We'll start with the exterior and um, we'll have JJ look around for, for entry points on the exterior. And while we're doing that, Ben can work on you know removing all these glue traps so JJ can search. What Ben's got here on the table, he's got all these snap traps that he's purchased. I, I wouldn't open those up yet because what I'm hoping to accomplish today with Megan and JJ is to find those entry points and you'll never have to trap again obviously we want to maintain the perimeter of your house just to make sure that there's no new entry points in the future that's going to be imperative from from this day forward absolutely all right so we're in the garage where ben's got you know, multiple multiple snap traps trying to get this big rat we've got a, a live trap with some bait more snap traps some different plastic snap traps, glue board. We've got more snap traps, glue boards. All right, uh, Jim, we're in Ben's basement and he's showing us all the activity down here and what he's done to try and catch, catch this rat. He's got sticky traps, massive amount of sticky traps. Sticky traps uh, along the wall. We've got traps in, in, on every wall, multiple traps. And then Jim, up here you can see this insulation is hanging down. He said that this was from this was from the rat crawling up on top of it, pulling it down. He's even got some up on the on the ledge. There was a hole here where it was getting in his daughter's bedroom, and he put some foam. He said sometimes he comes down and the rat would actually knock the glue traps off, knock them on the floor, and he had to put them back up. This is where the rat was getting under the hot water heater and eating the insulation. This is a, a poison, a bait box that that Ben bought himself and put down, and there's been no, no bait take from this box. Ben mentioned that the rats were climbing on top of this, this rack and kicking the glue traps off onto the floor. I don't know, Jim, I don't know if you can see this on the, the floor, you can see the discoloration a little bit, but Ben said that the rats were taking, um, the, taking pumpkins off of this rack and then dragging them on the floor, you can see, you might be able to see the seeds, the pumpkin seeds, and the rat was eating the pumpkin and just making a big mess on the floor here. So as you can see, even if you spend $1,200 on traps and sticky pads, if you're dealing with smart rats, you're not gonna catch them. So this is why it's important, folks, to find those entry points, because if you stop those entry points, you're gonna catch more rats inside of your house with, with rat traps and sticky pads. This, uh, this insulation that the, the rat is actually pushed down, pulled down, that was originally up here, up in the uh, ceiling. Hey, hey, Jim, I really want to show you this. This is in Ben's living room and there's, you can see the debris on the floor. There's some wood chips and, you know, little pieces of debris, but this is where a piece of furniture was and Ben found that the rat was hanging out under the furniture, chewing. The furniture is now being burned. And then this is a new method that, that Ben has tried. Look, look at this guy. Face white. Can you see him? It's a, it's a plastic snake. So this was a this was a tactic to see if uh, maybe it would <laughs> would would deter the rat, but no such luck. We've talked with Ben. We know the situation. And now it's time to get JJ and get to work. Hey J. JJ's had a long ride. JJ's he's, he's been riding for quite some time and ready to work. All right, so I've just gotten JJ out of the van, and what I like to do before he starts to work is let him sniff for about two or three minutes because I want him to warm up his nose. It's like 
if you're going to sing or you're going to exercise or do anything, he needs to warm up his nose and get it going so it's going to be maximum proficiency. So we're just going to have a sniff around, let him warm up. played out but there's quite a gap. Um good boy. Um so even with this this little I put it back in here. But you can still see the gap right there. And this is where JJ's indicating he's he's getting a lot of odor in this area as an entry point. This goes into the garage. The boy Look at JJ just sniffing around. This is something that most pest control companies are not able to find. And this is why we're bringing JJ and Megan as part of our team. I think he wants to check out those chickens. All right, check in. Good boy, get it. Get it, Jay, get it. Show me. Good boy, find it, check it out. Good boy, Jay, get it. Yes. All right, so this is what I was going to be concerned with this deck. We're going to have to get in here and see what's happening behind here. Show me, Jay. Good boy. It's in there. It's in there. Oh, it is a good boy. Oh, JJ's on the hunt. I love it. All right, let's mark this for a spot to come back and do some further visual uh, inspection. Guys, so we've got Another thing we we found up here, you can see. So what Ben told us is that previously he knew there was a bird going in here, a bird's nest, and, and had all this nesting material. But recently, since he's had the problem with the rat, now he's, he's seeing this pink, the pink insulation in here as well. And that's not something that's normally up here. So we're, go we're gonna pull this down and, and see what's going on in here in a little bit. Come on, JJ. Come on, JJ. But this change in, in intensity is because there's something active or something live. Yeah, that's right behind that lazy Susan. Alright, let's go and get this. Oh boy. Yeah, for the couch Yeah, for the couch Okay. Well, yeah, you're not really good. Okay. 
boy. Oh, Jay got the ball! Oh, that's a good one, Jay! Look at that guy! Look at him! Look how big he is! Oh, my! <laughs> Look at him! Get him, Jay! Look at the size of this guy! So he's all, he's, that looks like the bait, Ben, it looks like the bait's done its work. Man, look at this guy. We got the rat! Oh, wow, how, how heavy do you think that is, Billy? About a pound and a half. About a pound, he's, he's big. He's big. Good boy, Jay, good boy. All right, so we've got this one. This is, um, this is the big guy Ben's been after. Looks like the bait has done its job. He's, he's right here, he was dead right next to a sticky trap, but he was not in the sticky trap. The bait got him. So we're gonna come on out here, we're gonna dispose of him so JJ can get back to work. Wow, look at the size of this guy. Good job, JJ, good job. <laughs> All right, so we've got, we're in the kitchen in the area where JJ was really excited to get to. We've pulled out the dishwasher and, and take a look at what's going on. So we've got uh, some rat droppings and then all this material, the rat has chewed through the hoses on the dishwasher. And all these items, Ben says, um, you know, have been taken from other areas of the house. And the rat you know, brought them under the dishwasher to make nesting. Um, the Lazy Susan, and this is where JJ was indicating as well, trying to get behind here. And we found, this is actually mice. Mice are getting in the Lazy Susan. They were chewing into, they, they seem to like raviolis. We chewed into the plastic on a few of them we've already thrown away, but we have mice droppings in here on the Lazy Susan. And we've got a lot of mouse droppings under here. This is under the Lazy Susan. Back here we've got, we've got some mice droppings and rat droppings. And what Ben told us was that on his trail cam, he caught, uh, he had some images of a rat. It looked like it was carrying a mouse in its mouth. So we've got mice that are in here and the rat is predating on the mice. Fascinating. This nesting material, can you see that? We've got food, nesting material up here. JJ's having to work through a lot of different odor down here. That he's trying to narrow down to the highest areas of concentration. So all of this behavior right now is up. So he's getting a lot of the most odor is, is coming from above. The rat, the rat was likely nesting up in the insulation. And we're down in the basement, so that's where the rat was coming in from up in the garage area. We're back to all this insulation where uh, Ben said that it wasn't on the floor and the rat must have pulled it down. All right, this is where the rat was found dead on this ledge right here. Easy. We've got feces up here, a lot of nesting material. And JJ's trying to get to it. The dead rat. Hey, buddy. Yes, good boy. Good. All right, we're gonna have to get the endoscope out. There's, um, JJ's indicating on this back area and I can feel there's a hole that I'm not able to see. So we're gonna get the endoscope and have a look around. The hole is gonna be back here where the light is, but it's on this back side. All right, we're in the basement. So earlier JJ was searching and he was sniffing, he was sniffing up on the wall and he was indicating that there was odor up high. We've come in here and we've pulled down the insulation in this area and we found we found a nest, a big nest for the rat. He's been ready for the holiday season because he's got, there's some Christmas wrapping paper that he's had up here in the nest. So good, good find JJ. All right, so we found another exterior entry point, likely for the size of mice and you know, possibly juvenile rat, but uh, I'm thinking more mice. So you have to look under this threshold, under the door. You can see where there's areas that are chewed out. Old damage from a long time ago, but odor would be left behind here from mice, which might would attract the rat. So on this side, right here on the left side, where you see this black cable sticking out, 
This is a cable that when we were down in the basement where JJ was smelling odor up up top in the insulation and we pulled down the insulation and we found Christmas wrapping paper and nesting material. So we found this wire and we poked it through a hole on the inside from the basement and it, and it comes out up here under the door. So this is definitely an entry point size wise, at least mice. And there's, there's a little bit of shavings and chewed material under here as well. All right, so we've got what appears to have been started off as a bird nest, now is, is doubling as, as a rat nest. You can see we've got some insulation that's been that's been brought up here and then all this other stuff that's likely from birds in the past so we're going to clean it out and there's an area on the inside of the wall where jj's been indicating all right so now that we found all of the entry points it's going to be up to ben now because he's a diyer to do all of the exclusion work okay so we're finishing up it's getting dark as you can see it's getting a little cold out but jim's calling we're going to give jim a recap of everything Let's go. Hey, Jim. What's up? How are we, team? Good. We're, we're finished. We've we've been solved. We've solved the mystery. As you can see, it's getting dark here. So we'll um we'll take you through a recap if you're ready for it. I'm so ready to hear. It's incredible. Let's go. See, this area's been chewed out a lot on the wood. Old chew marks on the wood. Can you are you able to see that? Oh yeah. It, so JJ showed interest in them. Um, it, not as as intense of an interest as, as he's done in some of the other spots. Is there any uh, evidence of, of the rats going or the mice up in there? Yep, so there was evidence there and I'll show you how they, they're getting in. So we got up in here. Might be as easy to see at night time, but you see this stick? There's a hole where they're accessing from the garage as well. You know, it's free game into the attic. Look at that. I see all the sticks right there. I'll take you around through the garage and show you the other side of that stick. This is the other side of yep. the stick that we were just outside. So once they climb up here, they get in there, they get in the attic, and it's it's game one from there, wherever they want to go. That's incredible. Boy, I tell you what, Megan and, and JJ, they really, they did a, a great job today. It was amazing. That is awesome. It's amazing to me how these rats and mice migrated through your house and down these different areas of nesting and so forth. So I'm super happy with the results today. And this is why it's so important. Entry points are, are detected and, and excluded because all the rat trapping, the glue boards, all the efforts of all of that. Can you imagine if we didn't do this today, where you would be in the next, it, it would continue on. Do you agree? Yes, I agree. Absolutely. That dishwasher was... They were having a field day underneath that dishwasher. Oh, yeah. And then JJ pointed out areas that, you know, we knew some problem areas that he found, but he found definitely areas that we didn't know about. I'm uh, definitely thrilled that we were able to, to get that rat today found and get it taken care of. It's going to be, I'm going to stay connected with you in the next couple of days to see how much uh, activity you get on those traps. Okay. It's a great team effort. So this is the most rewarding right here. So we get a voice uh, text message from Ben. Check it out. Hey twins, I've been recording uh, for several nights now and it looks like there's been no activity. So uh, since Megan and JJ left, great job. So as you can see how these rats are getting in from the doorways and that's one of the missed areas that most pest control companies miss. You know, to the eye, as you're looking, you really can't see that. That's why we're bringing on JJ to sniff those areas out to confirm and verify. The other thing is, you know, if you don't have a dog, obviously cameras is something that we're really a big believers in to solving these issues here. Well, hopefully you like this episode and more importantly, our new team, Megan and JJ. If you do, please hit the like and comment. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. And we'll see you on the next one.